Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's Tylerius, aka Ty Killington. Yeah, man. All right. Thanks for coming out to my channel. I hope everyone's doing good today. As you know, I've been releasing some videos to help out with this week's double money and bonus money event week 1.5 bonus with import export i released a 2019 update video for the business guide and a money making guide as well i get a lot of questions though about how to properly use the cargo bop because it really does work very effectively in the import export business when you're selling and sourcing the cars right the cargo bob is one million seven hundred ninety thousand the jet sam is a couple hundred thousand dollars more i've tested the two i don't really notice that much of a difference so i mean go with whichever one you want to um i recommend using the cargo bob that you can store in your hangar so if you buy the cargo bob it's, it's a pegasus vehicle right so you call it in from pegasus and then you just go fly it into your hangar if you have a hangar you can store it in there customize it and uh, for some reason, the game just likes the hangar version of the Cargo Bob better because it doesn't just automatically blow it up as often. If you just have the Pegasus version, which is fine, you can use that. But for some reason, it tends to just blow up on its own when you have it just kind of sitting around. So it's a little weird. It's one little uh, tip or trick I give you right there. But uh, yeah, so if you have a hangar, go ahead and store it in there. And then you can call it in from your interaction menu, just like I did right there. And you go pick it up, and then you can start the process with using the Cargo Bob with the import-export, okay? So that's really what this video is all about, you know, some uh, tips and tricks on how to do this. Uh, I got about 10 of them in, in total, and, uh, you know, just how to go about using it. I'll show you one of the missions and the import-export sourcing and how to get that done as well. So it's, uh, you know, a, a good amount of content altogether to knock this out. So I want to make sure you guys understand it, because once again... It really will pay for itself in the long run. It's a great vehicle to use uh, for the business. But uh, like I said, a lot of people ask me, they're like, Ty, you know, how do you use it? Because I'll, they'll see me in my videos. I'm picking cars up when they're driving. You know what I mean? I'm picking cars up all the time. And they're like, dude, how do you do that? So anyways, if you just got the cargo, Bob, the way to drop the hook is just simply hit the right arrow key on your D-pad, on the directional pad. Just hit the right arrow key and the hook will pop out. It's that simple. Uh, so this is my import-export warehouse right here. And I usually park my cargo, Bob. It's right here in between these two light posts. I had a crew member that had a, uh, a terabyte right there. So it's got it in between there. No big deal. You can you know, land it wherever yours, your warehouse is and just find a spot for it. Or, you know, Sometimes I put it up on the roof as well. It's all good. And then you go into your warehouse and start your sale. All right, and this works for your sourcing as well, but I'll show you that here in a minute. Now, I'm using the Tyrus because the Tyrus is a notorious vehicle for not being very easy to hook up with. And another tip or trick that I have is uh, there's a particular area on the vehicle to attach the hook. Now, most of the vehicles, you can just go right over the center of the roof, but some vehicles, okay. you need to connect the hook to the spoiler it's weird it's just how it is and the tyrus is one of those you can be dragging the hook all over the hood the roof whatever and it just won't connect uh the spoiler is where you want to go so that's a really big tip and trick right there that you can use and i'll show you that here as i'm kind of maneuvering it now listen don't be afraid to mess up it's okay don't be afraid to get a little bit of damage on your car or whatever because you're going to have to learn uh, another tip or trick i can give you is that when you're trying to position the cargo bob you know use your camera angle it around a little bit you have to feather the throttle and the throttle up and throttle down so your r2 l2 you got to kind of feather it what i mean by that is you got to kind of go easy with it left and right and uh and work it to where it stays positioned it just takes practice as you see right here I'm dragging the hook all across it, but once I get to the spoiler, it connects immediately, even though the animation shows it connecting to the roof. That's just how it works. The majority, I'd say 75% of the cars, you can just, uh, you know, position the hook over the roof and it will attach it to the vehicle. But there are cars, especially like the Tyrus, where you, you want to go to the actual spoiler. This is another big tip and trick right here. The altitude makes a difference. These cars add weight to the cargo bob and it will affect how it flies so i recommend gaining about 1500 feet in altitude before you you know take off or whatever that way you don't have to worry about you know you running into buildings and things like that and this right here is a graphic of the altimeter 
right? So the shorthand is basically a thousand. It, it go, it's good for each thousand uh, marker, and the longhand is how many hundred of feet. So right now the marker, the shorthand marker is over the one, so I'm at one thousand. The longhand is over the four, so that's fourteen hundred. Now we're coming up to the five, which is fifteen hundred. So fifteen hundred feet is right about where you want to be, and then. You'll be good to, you can pretty much go anywhere all over the map, especially any one of the delivery locations. Plus, when you sell, you want to be high enough because the NPCs will spawn cars on the road if you get too close to the ground. All right. Now, I also want to show you a little bit more here. You can you can drop the car too. Hit the right arrow key again on the D-pad, and it will release the vehicle. So if you have to kind of drop it because your you know cargo bob is about to blow up or something, you can come back to the car later. Here's another slow-mo image close up. I'm going to the spoiler with the hook and it connects it, but it draws the hook over the roof of the car. So I just wanted to kind of show you that again. The spoiler is where you want to go with a lot of these vehicles. I'll do it again. I drop it. Now back across where the spoiler is. Using the camera to, to angle and position with the joystick. And then I just angle it, you know, put the, uh, the hook perpendicular to the where the spoiler is in the car and it connects it every single time bam there you go simple now when you're delivering the vehicles a lot of people have issues they see that corona ring they think they have to drop the car or sling it into certain delivery locations that are underneath a roof or in a weird area just hover above it just hover above that corona ring and it will attach it just like that and it'll accept the delivery so you don't have to get super close to that corona ring. Just hover above it or near it, and it'll accept the delivery. And as you see right there, no damage at all. No big deal. Now, you always want to pay yourself back, right? Uh, real simple. Just call in your terabyte. Terabyte will spawn. Go over to the terabyte. Just land down. Go inside the terabyte. And now you can launch a source mission. This is one of the reasons why it helps out with the speed and the time to be able to do a lot of these uh, money guides that I have and, and be efficient with the time to money ratio. So we did that, we'll go into the vehicle cargo, launch it, and some of the cargo missions are super easy. The sourcing missions are really easy. Some take a little bit of time. I'm glad I got this one because Today this is the stealth mode. So listen to your assistant. She's telling you right there what to do. So this is going to be the stealth mode uh, mission or whatever. Just go ahead and land the cargo bob somewhere close. Uh, not only can I land the cargo bob here, I can position the, the source vehicle up here as well to attach it to the hook. I highly recommend using a 50 cal pistol with a suppressor. It's the best uh, weapon to use for these stealth missions, for heisting, for everything. Free aim right here. Shoot this guy in the head. Uh, he's done going up to the little yellow marker and then it kind of highlights all the other bad guys i kind of want to take you through this and show you a lot of people have issues with this and it's going guns blazing you don't have to as you see on the map the bad guys have a cone of vision there's like a little radar of vision that they have as long as you stay out of that and as long as you don't kill the bad guys inside their own cones of vision with each other you'll be fine so merc that guy out come over here you know free aim this dude one shot of the head you know, very simple, very easy. And as you see, nobody is in this guy's cone of vision. He's not in anybody else's cone of vision. So I can drop him, and no one's gonna, none of the other NPCs are gonna see it. I wait for that guy uh, to be clear of anybody. Drop him. Once again, free aim this dude right here. He's knelt down. Let's pop him in the head. Oh, there's the key right there. Perfect. Once again, nobody can see his dead body. The NPCs, the cone of vision won't go across him. Merc this guy out. The buddy that's walking back and forth is over here now. He pauses. Real easy. I bust him. Don't worry about the the NPC people that are partying right there. They don't have to worry about them. Um, pick up the key, and now I have access to the vehicle. And this chick right here was wasted. Oh, my God. You'll see her, see her right there passed out. Oh, my God. Check this out. She is <laughs> just done. Yeah, the, just the little things like that. It's so fun in the game. Anyways, so, so uh, here's the T20. Hop inside that real easy, right? And I know that my chopper is right over here above me. So I go ahead and just drive on up right here in that range in this area. Have a nice clear, you know, no trees, no poles around, nothing like that. And once again, while you're doing this, you'll learn what cars are what. 
The T20, very easy to hook that guy up. Just go across the actual roof. You don't have to worry about the spoiler on this one. Pick it up and you're good to go. Once again, hit your uh, around your 1,500 foot uh, mark on your altimeter. Usually when you're going down into the city, the elevation is lower. You don't have to worry about it as much, but still trying to aim for that mark. And in addition, you'll be able to kind of outrun some of those choppers once you do that. So here, shout out to uh, Velasquez Jose 910, one of my crew members, giving me a hand with showing you guys some of the armament, the defensive capabilities of the cargo bob. It can withstand um, two RPGs and then gets destroyed on the third one. So you do have some, you know, defensive capability with the uh, with the cargo bob itself. From the Mark II, big shout out to Legit Assassin, another one of my crew members helping me out with this man. Thank you so much. Uh, it'll actually take four rockets from the Mark II. Now, once again, I always recommend doing sales in either solo public lobbies or, you know, lobbies with crew members and friends and things like that where it's more controlled. But if not, it's all good. So I hope this video helped out. That's, uh, you know, how to use the cargo bob with import export, 10 tips and tricks on how to get that done. And yeah, man, if you guys got any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Follow me on Twitter at TylariusYT, Instagram Tylarius underscore YT. Check out my merchandise at redbubble.com, spreadshirt.com, and teespring.com. Just search Tylarius. You guys know what to do. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for the illest of reels content. The game is you smash. I'm supposed to smash that like button. Stay dangerous.